Thanks for tuning in today. I have a very special episode and glad that you're able to join. We are going to make the fork bumpers for the Suron B. Today's episode is a very special one and one that I really like. We're going to be making the fork bumpers for the Suron B. Now I just threw on a new set of forks and it didn't come with bumpers. And sometimes if you contact the fork with the frame, then it'll destroy either the fork or the frame. And so what I need to do is actually make a part to fix that. Now I could just throw some hair ties or some rubber bands on the frame or something like that, or maybe even hop online. I'm sure I could buy some somewhere. But what this is gonna be is measuring what we need to design. Second is designing it in a CAD software. I use SolidWorks. The third is gonna be printing it out. Fourth is gonna be installing the part. Pretty much a full design from start to finish of a part. And this is my favorite thing to do in the world is to take something and make it to exactly what I need. So let's get started. Step one, what we need to do is measure the fork tubes for the bumper that's gonna slip over. And as you can see, this fork tube can actually contact the frame right there at the welds. And so we would either have damage of the welds or damage of the fork tube here. Neither of them's a good idea. So let's get this part going. First step, what's the diameter of my tube? You always wanna be really gentle or use a plastic tipped set of calipers when you're measuring a sensitive piece like this. 32 millimeter, these are 32 millimeter. So let's just write that down, 32 millimeter. Yeah, about an inch tall. I think about an inch tall bumper is gonna work right. I think that'll be about enough contact area. And I just wanna see how thick my bump stop is gonna be about where it would contact the frame. And let's see, this is saying about 3.6 millimeters. I may wanna bump that up to about five, just so we have enough cushion. So five millimeter thick. Right, so that's all the measurements that we need. And as you can see, I wrote down a couple of them right there, just some of the basic ones that I will need to make the design in CAD. Now I'm gonna open up my SolidWorks software and get to it. Next up, we're going to design the part in SolidWorks and I'm using a copy of 2016. All right, so we're gonna start, uh, I'm gonna do this kind of a simple way. Instead of doing a round revolved extrusion, I'm just gonna do the ID of this. So this is gonna be a 32 millimeter ID. I'm actually gonna undersize this inside by just a little bit. This, and I said about an inch, so 25 millimeters. Looking good. And we'll probably wanna go with about a, oh, one millimeter chamfer. Give one there, give one there, and also give one on one side. Go ahead and do one on the bottom side, just so it looks fabulous. All right, that's basically our part. Just looks like a bushing, which is essentially what it is. Just make sure that everything looks good. I'm gonna start with 25% fill density because this just needs to be crushed anyway. Two perimeters. Tell you what, we're gonna do three perimeters just so this has a little bit more heft to it and go from there. So now we can just export the G-code and I shall simply export the G-code into the folder that I was in and then we will upload it to the printer. All right, so this is the moment of truth. We have printed this first bushing here and we'll see if it actually slides on. So if y'all remember, I undersized it by a millimeter. This is printed out of a, a urethane. Ah, uh, she's coming apart. And that is sliding on pretty tight. But it looks like I need to adjust my print settings. As you can see, that outer wall just kind of peeled off on me. But I think I know what I need to do. But we do have a nice tight fitment and that's what we want to see. <laughs> so what I am going to do, besides pulling this thing apart, <laughs> is redo this with a little bit better settings so that it doesn't obviously come apart on myself and I will reprint another one and we will go from there. All right, so the piece didn't quite print as I would have liked it to as far as the quality, but we did get to see about the inside diameter being right for the fork. So at least we had one good prototype or part of it being a good prototype. And what I'll have to do is tweak some print settings so we don't have it coming apart. Now let's see here, yeah. 
This came apart into three pieces. So my overlap needs to be adjusted a little bit, but our outer wall is great. Our inner wall is great. And we just need to adjust some settings. So what I'm going to have to go through is do that, reprint it and make sure that it fits again. But that's kind of what real life is about. Sometimes you want to make a product, you got to make a prototype. And sometimes a prototype manufacturing can tell you, Hey, there's some problems with your product or with your, your way of manufacturing. So that's just how it works out sometimes. What we're going to do is a recap video where we do it again and hopefully get it right the second time. So stay tuned for that and appreciate you tuning in today. Hope you liked it as much as I did. <laughs>